So we now have a new session update, and even though they're calling it a minor update, they added a lot of stuff to the game. And one of the biggest things I think in the game so far is this underground parking lot. It's a brand new area that we can skate. So let's go ahead and go there and let's check it out. Okay, and we start off here. So far, it's looking pretty nice. But before we go any further, I wanna check out the customization options. I wanna customize my skater. So it looks like we got some ESP shirts. That one's actually really cool. I might switch to that one. I don't know. I'm going to check out the other one, see if there's anything else that might be a little bit better. Looks like we got some flat face. Uh, what else? Is there anything else? Oh, wow. That Samurai Punk Cuddy is really cool too. Is there anything on the back of it? Nope. Nothing on the back of it, but it's still a pretty cool hoodie. It's also a pretty cool shirt. It's the same graphic, but it still looks nice on a t-shirt. That one is really cool. It's a lot different than the other ones. And so in so is that one. I really like these Samurai Punk clothes. And you know what? Since I'm sort of a weeb, as you can tell by my background, I think I'll go with this. Let's check out the deck graphics. Oh, yeah. By the way, I noticed that they have a red top layer on a lot of these decks now. And that, I really like the red. I said it in a previous video, but I do like it when it has a red top to it. And it looks like they've added Donovan Strange board. That is really awesome. I have that board on uh, my collection back there as well. Uh, maybe you guys can see it. I don't know. I did an unboxing video on this. If you guys want to check it out, I did it last week. Oh, well, let's move on. We've got a lot of ESP stuff. I really like that flat face graphic. That is pretty sick. These flat face graphics are really nice. We got a new heroin board. I really like that one, honestly. And wow, I really like that one too. I am really digging this new update. This Frank Shaw board is looking pretty sick too. Do we have any new stuff? I think that might be a new one. I don't know about that one, but I think that one might be a new one too. And maybe that one, maybe that one too. Wow, we have so many new boards. You know what? I think I'm gonna go with this one. It just looks so sick. Wait a minute, what color is the top? It looks like it's red. Nice. That's, that's perfect. And I guess that's it for the customization. So let's go skate. And by the way, they also added a trick display on there. So for some of you that wanted that, you now have it. Let's see how correct that is. Let's just do a tray flip. And it says tray flip. Nice. What if we do uh, a backside flip? Oh, it actually says backside flip. Instead of just a backside kick flip, it actually says backside flip. So what if we do... A bigger flip oh man it says bigger flip that is so sweet okay what if we just try a big flip oh it does say big flip how about a ghetto bird oh man it says a modern ghetto bird well they know what a modern ghetto bird is so let's test out the grinds let's do something controversial and see what it says okay a fakey ollie front side no slide I see I see what you did there Let's try to get a Nolly Hill 270 front nose. And it looks like it's gonna call it that, except for it's gonna be Nolly Hill 360. So yeah, I'm sure you guys get the idea. Now, I'm pretty sure every trick won't be called correctly. That's just how it is. But it's still pretty awesome that they have the trick names displayed. Let's do some exploring, guys. <laughs> I'm tired of looking at trick names. Oh yeah, by the way, they also have pressure flips now. I gotta figure out how to do it. I was set up for it and there you go pressure 360 let's just do a couple different pressure flips we got nolly pressure flips i'm trying to figure out these pressure flips uh this way nope that way there we go nolly pressure hard flip 360 and then we should have a nolly pressure 360 okay and i'm sure you can do a lot of different pressure flips i'm just trying to show you guys the basic ones i guess <laughs> and i'm still having a little bit of trouble with it pressure hard flip looks pretty nice oh man this would be a sick gap i would have to make it through this right here though and i'd have to have enough speed for it let's try it real quick there's it looks like there's a lot of stair sets and gaps i want to do here i'm probably not going to have a lot of speed for any of them i might have to set up the ramps in the future videos and also there is a triple set right here too yeah i'm definitely gonna have to clear a lot of stair sets here that's gonna be for future videos though today we're just checking out the update uh yeah i don't think that's gonna be enough speed my dude but i'm gonna have to turn into that 
Oh, what? It just said one kickflip. <laughs> I can't believe I cleared that. I think I late popped, but that was still pretty awesome. Oh yeah, I definitely late popped on that and I barely cleared over. I actually clipped right there at the end. It is what it is though. I, I like that. And now that we're down here, I noticed there's a little manual pad. Let's try to do a pressure hard flip into nose manual. I don't think it's going to let me pressure flip out of a manual. I don't know. Let's try it out. All right. So pressure hard flip and then try to do. Yeah, I don't think I'm going to be able to do a pressure flip out of a nose manual or even a regular manual. It's just not going to work out on here. I don't think. So I guess I'll just try to do a nollie hard flip out. That's basically what I was trying to do anyways. Wow. And I messed it up completely. Oh, wow. I really like the way that nollie hard flip popped. Let's take a look at that in the replay. And here's another stair set that I'm going to need to gap eventually. I'm going to, I'm planning on gapping every single stair set here but it looks like we can actually go through a loop right there um i still don't think we're going to have enough speed to clear it though so i'm starting way back here to see if i can actually gain enough speed for it i don't think i'll be able to but i just want to see what i have to work with i'll definitely figure out a way to do it in the future though okay well that's one gap but definitely not out there far enough to actually clear the double set and I'm still on this little middle level right here. This is this is a pretty big parking garage. What's down this way? Okay, it just brings me right back down here. Well, wow, look at this triple set. I'm glad to find a way to clear that triple set. Like I said, every stair set. I guess I'll start back here, trying to gain that speed, trying to get as many pushes in as possible and try to go downhill for as long as possible. I need everything I can get. And let's pop right here. Uh, maybe with just a little bit more speed, I might have to really late pop that, but I think I can make it work. Ooh, I think, I think that was it. Let's go back and look at that. Uh, I want to see if I clipped at the end. I don't think I did. Wow. It's hard to tell right there. Uh, it looks like I might have. Yeah, I'm going to have to land out there a little bit further. Like I said, I did have to late pop for that. No big deal. I can always clean it up later. I just want to land it now. Super late pop on that one. Uh, let's make sure I didn't clip. No, I did not clip on that one. That one would have been perfect if I wouldn't have... Had a super late pop right there. Now I'm definitely going to be skating more of this in later videos. I just want to show you guys some uh, extra features that they had. Let's we go to the options menu. Let's go to gameplay. So now you have grind input mode. You got full release mode and partial release mode and no release mode. Full release mode says input must be released after popping a trick and then reapplied in order to apply weight to the desired foot and feet for all types of grinds, which means you got to pop your trick, which is a kickflip or whatever, and then you release the joysticks and then you go into the grind movement with the joysticks. It's just the same way that you've already been playing, or at least I think so. That's how I've been playing anyways. So partial release mode input must be released after popping a trick and then reapplied in order to apply weight to the desired foot. And for no release mode, it says input does not have to be released after popping a trick, which means you can just hold down your joysticks after you pop. Like, I don't know if you're set up for an ollie, use the left joystick to go up, but you can hold the right joystick down and you'll go into a 5-0 like that. And hopefully that makes sense. Like if you want to do a nose grind after a nollie, all you have to do is just hold the left joystick up. If you're skating regular, of course, just hold it up the entire time and you should go from a nollie straight into a nose grind. And we also have a pop height mode. You could choose global, which is pop heights for low, mid, high tricks remain the same regardless of the stance and foot position. So any stance or whatever, all the pops are going to be the same depending on what trick you do. 
And then for unique, it says pop heights for low, mid, high tricks vary depending on stance and foot position. For example, when skating switch, pop heights will be lower. And that's self-explanatory. When you skate switch, your pop heights are going to be lower than usual. There you go. And under experimental features, they now have added game of skate. So you can play couch co-op classic game of skate with friends. You can't do multiplayer yet. They have it planned for multiplayer, but you can't do it yet. But if you have a friend nearby who's in the same room as you and you're playing on the PC or whatever, you got two controllers, you can play a game of skate. I think that's really awesome. I'm going to have to test that out later, but I don't have any friends. All right. And here's where you can turn the trick display on and off. And of course, grabs have always been there. I just have them enabled just in case I want to try them out. And I feel like I'm missing something. I'm probably missing a lot of things. Uh, okay, auto grinds mode. I haven't showed this off yet. When auto grind is turned on, the player will automatically try to grind or slide without having to enter any input when landing on a ledge or rail. Let's let's turn that on. I feel like it's going to be something like skate. I'm sure a lot of you have played skate. It'll probably just go into the grind whichever way you're rotated. So you probably just rotate into a grind. I don't know. I have to check it out. So let's try to rotate into whatever. Okay. Got a backside lip slide. Yeah. So I didn't do any movement with the joysticks. All I did was rotate my skater and he automatically landed into a grind. So that's pretty cool too. If you want to try some weird stuff, I really can't think of anything off the top of my head, but yeah, that's really awesome. Cause normally you would just bail if you hit the rail without trying to do a grind. So yeah, you can just go right into it. And I try to cover everything, but I'm pretty sure I'm missing quite a bit. This is a really awesome update. Like I said, they called it a minor update, but I don't know. It feels pretty big to me. I really enjoy it. And I'm definitely going to be skating some more of this underground parking garage. I still haven't checked out everything. I barely even scratched the surface. I feel like there's just so much to do here. Anyways, guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. And if you did, make sure to hit that like button. If you're new, make sure to hit that subscribe button. Make sure to hit that bell so you actually get notified when I upload. Let me know what you think about this video in the comments below. Thanks for watching, guys. Peace out.